Okay, so I made... I made a tweet, right? I made a freaking tweet. It was- it was regards to the freaking thumbnail, right? Hear me out! Okay? I want you all to hear me out. So... I made this tweet... <laughs> when it came out... It was like 12 minutes into, uh, up, uh, uploading it. This is April 5th, so it's like... Almost... Almost a, like six days ago. Six days ago. Pro precisely six days ago. They put out this thumbnail. This thumbnail, right? For round six. When I saw that reach into my recommended screen, I put, oh no, he's hot. <laughs> because, look, the. Uh, Hear me out. The black eyeshadow, the freaking, the earrings on the left side, bro. Whoo! Not that I'm into emos, but that awakened something inside me. <laughs> okay. And then, yada, yada, yada. And then they changed the thumbnail. <laughs> I tw They changed the thumbnail. Like, five minutes later. And then I tweeted again. I saw this. I saw this unfold in real time. <laughs> At the time. I tweeted out again. And I was like, they caught me lacking and changed the thumbnail. <laughs> I just wanted to share that because it's so funny. I just thought it was, I just thought it was so funny. It is time. It is indeed time. Let's do it. We need to watch this in full. There's a lot of blood. I'm I'm afraid this is gonna be so dark. I'm s Okay, I'm sorry. E-boy alert! E-boy alert! <laughs> I'm... I'm swooned over an e-boy alert. E-boy alert. This is not okay. <laughs> okay, I'm rewinding this. <laughs> Don't pet him like that, that's disgusting. <laughs> This is... Okay. I'm sorry for pausing. I'm pausing again. I'm so sorry. But like... Have you noticed the style of music he's going with? It's very reminiscent of Ivan. Or Avon. Whichever way you prefer pronouncing. But I'll say Ivan for the sake of this video. He's going through the Ivan route. His style of music. He's no... He's no longer high energy. It's evil as fuck, boy. <laughs> Shit.
<laughs> you guys are paying? What the hell? <laughs> you guys are paying! What kind of microphone is that? <laughs> Oh my god. Ivan looked so sadistic in that. What the hell was that? <laughs> Genuinely, what the hell was that? <laughs> anyway. That's a callback. That's a callback to round three. That's a callback. But yeah, this this fuck is is weird. I've I even this fucker is weird. I'll say that right now. He is freaking weird. <laughs> the meteors. Oh my god. Bro, why is Ivan like this? Without consent, without consent, you can't kiss him without consent. <laughs> wait, there's a hu there's humans alongside the. Oh wait, they're wait, they're perceived as pets in this universe. Oh my god, whatever. <laughs> What the? Huh? Hey, yo! Without consent? <laughs> Ivan, you're gone. You are gone. Banned. Banished. You are banished. Without consent, by the way. I don't know why I paused at that point. I'm so sorry. That's 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 that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> rewind, rewind. No. What the fuck? What the fuck is happening? What the fuck is hap- Oh my- No! No! No 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 no! What the fuck is happening? <laughs> no! Oh my god! That's it? Oh my god! Wait, who's he again? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No. He's against Luca. <laughs> Can I watch it again? I kind of want to watch it again. Just because. We'll, we'll we'll let the video play out, bro. <gasps> That's the rebels. Oh, 
Oh shit. That's it? No. <laughs> oh no, the aliens killed him for homophobia. <laughs> Oh no! The aliens killed Ivan because of homophobia! You just came back? You literally missed it! Nah, because of that, we gotta watch it again. I'm just kidding. We're not gonna watch it. <laughs> oh my god! What happened? Bro, do you wanna watch it again? <laughs> the aliens. Killed one human for homo. It's that's literally that's basic homophobia. <laughs> I don't care what anyone thinks. That's homophobia. <laughs> okay. To be to be frank, the kiss was not warranted. He did not give the consent. He didn't want that. He didn't want that. But he did it anyway. He tried to fucking kill him. I even tried to cut. <laughs> I even tried to kill. Till what? By by choking? What the? Okay, okay. Let me gather. Let me gather my thoughts. I will try to analyze, or at least attempt to analyze what what the. I'll try to analyze what the hell did I just watch. <laughs> And then we'll, um, and then we'll try going for, um, the analysis. Okay. Round six. I guess he was, he was performing in, like, um, well, of course, it's the round six, so they're just, like, staging. But there, there was a, I think there was, like, some kind of, like, callback, um, to, and he was, like, just I think before just like performing on on like a on like a little stage, a cabaret dinner, you know. And uh I'm guessing one of the one of the people I'm guessing he was just like I guess I'm guessing that Till was bought out or some or something. Or he's just like um what's it called? On probation. I guess with the with the alien whatever whatever he was um this thing whatever this freaking eldritch demon is and um and I guess he is al he's also going um on the outskirts I want to say the outskirts of like the alien stage just so that they can find um Meezy. Meezy, one of the girls that was um that was that was first introduced in round one. So currently, currently Meezy is missing, and she's with uh Meezy is currently with the other girl, which ah uh, fuck, what's her name? What's her name? What's her name? freaking butch lesbian by the way <laughs> with her I guess they freaking I guess this alien is like in current like was interrogating him to was like find Meezy uh I'll probably we'll probably do like a recap of everything we've seen so far but pro but the comments will probably will probably do the job for me, to be honest. But, uh... Yeah. So that's why we see a vision of her. Because... Because Till actually likes Meezy. But Meezy likes Sua. Who was just killed in round one. Because Meezy and, Meezy and Sua, bo both ladies, by the way, they were they were having their Yuri moment. They were in they were in lesbian love, but um, 
on the first round, Mizu and Sua, uh, was having their was having their duet, trying to get the same score just so that they could uh be so that they could both be spared. But in the rules of Alien stage, if you perform better than your opponent, the opponent gets killed, no matter what. So Sua got killed. Mizi spiraled. <laughs> Um, I don't know how she. I don't know how me. I don't know how Mizi got out. I guess like she got out by, by one of the. By the H lady, the butch lesbian, the who, H for hot. I still don't know what her name is. I'll. I. I need a. I need a. I need a refresher for round round two. Till was Till was introduced in round two. And Till is one of the like most outlandish, rebellious, feisty boy. Ooh, feisty as hell. Um He used to have a guitar, but he destroyed it. The guitar is also is also an alien. It, there's an alien inside of that guitar. So he was performing with it, and then he's just fucking prop is gone, bro. <laughs> and also, not to mention, like, because of his outlandish, feisty behavior, he has to constantly be tied up. Has a freaking muzzle or something, some alien muzzle on it, and. uh yeah, it's constantly on uh high parole, if you know what I'm if if you know what I'm saying. Constantly in high par- parole because of his behavior. Ivan, introduced in round three. We will get to Ivan later. But yeah. We're going to So Ivan, the black hair dude. Ivan likes Till. Till likes Meezy. Meezy likes Sua, who is dead, by the way. <laughs> also, can we appreciate the color scheme in this? Oh my god. Black and white. Con- the freaking- in freaking contrasts. The- Those are two contrasting colors. Yet they work so goddamn well together. Ooh. Peak, peak. By the way, and also, also, most of the most of these um most of these contestants that are in focus, they all started out as children, born as alien pets. By the way, which is morally disgusting. So yeah, they they knew every. Everyone mostly knew each other from childhood, and I guess love at first sight, whatever, as whichever you may think. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Might have a theory. Might have a theory. Because of Till's destructive behavior and Ivan and the fact that he likes Till because he's a psychopathic freak, by the way. Um I think at I think at that scene I think he perser he pre yeah what's it called? He perceived it Look at this cold cold lifeless stare. Demented. Is that a right word? But psychopathic. <laughs> there is literally no light behind those eyes. Besides the red pupils, but they don't count. They don't count. He's a fucking he's he's the devil. <laughs> but yeah, I think I don't know if this was like playing along not playing along, but like Either one, he's psycho- psychopathic. Two, he's playing along because boys will be boys, as they say. Which is not the case most of the time. 
or three. Uh, or three. Um, it's more like I guess he may be a yandere, maybe, but he's not a Luca yandere. Which we will, Luca. That's a whole other can of worms that I will not be explaining to. <laughs> Also, this this caption here. Notice my pain. Do we have to do ly lyricism? Do we have to lyrically analyze now? Oh my god, I can't wait. I can't wait. But yeah, when he says notice my pain, I guess it's the fact that um that like he's pain of like the unrequited love, basically. It's a, it's a nod to the fact that, that, the relationship they share, the relationship between them is one sided. Okay, the meteor scene. The meteor scene. Okay, so as mentioned in, in as mentioned in round three, there was a scene where there were uh, where Ivan wanted to oh my god shut up hello um post editing mari here uh the rest of my audio for this uh section of the video got muted for some reason so you didn't really miss out on anything it's just me yapping into the oblivion so back to your regular scheduled programming ah till destroy Luca for me. Thank you. Cause I also hate Luca. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I like I liked Ivan until the end. The inevitable end. But yeah. But I want Till to destroy everyone in the alien stage, by the way. Mm-mm. Cause that's where he's again. I kinda I can't wait to see what Luca and Till sound like together. Oh, Till is gonna destroy. I hope Till destroys Luca and leaves nothing behind. But something tells me. Something tells me differently. But I don't. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Impend doom on him, cause I actually. I actually like Till. As a character, not because, you know. I have an Intel official merch! They have merch together! Oh my god. I'm so- I can't believe I witnessed murder. By aliens, by the way. Oh. Whew. I even basically said, you can live without me, but I can't live without you. Oh. Mm, 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 mm. I think what sickens me the most about this is that Ivan didn't even look happy when he was kissing Till, and he died smiling because Till finally acknowledged him. You right. You right. You right. <laughs> ah, is this is this a theory? Is this a theory? Jesus Christ, the the fucking Yowie is insane because. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Oh my god, even Shushi Shushi reacted to him too. I need to listen to I'll watch I'll I'll watch his reaction later. But uh <laughs> Oh my god. Did anyone else Okay, this is from Sophia Lee. Eight six eight six seven eight. Okay. Did anyone notice at the beginning that Till is having blood drained out of him? And there is then a needle with a red substance, which I assume to be blood, then injected into another kid's eye. And that person has dark eyelashes and their eyes flash bright red, then fade to dark crimson. I noticed that! Oh my g- Oh my god. Oh my god. Anyway. And Ivan has distinctive red-black eyes. The scenes happen at around the 10 second march. Really fast. It's really fast, so- this part, which 
honestly, I don't like that imagery, so I will not show that. <laughs> um, really fast, so I need to slow it down to the max to catch it. Also, at the 13 second mark, Till with his gray hair is notably not one of the kids in the pictures. However, there is a kid at the bottom left corner that has a similar hairstyle to young Ivan. Furthermore, when the screen grows green, the other kid's pictures becomes red, while Ivan's alone is blue. Ah, wait, wait, they're on to something. They're on to something. Um, all this put together makes me think that there's potential for Ivan's story to be fleshed out further in the future. Either, either through going more into his backstory or his potential survival. I mean, such hidden detailed flashes alluding to possible experiments on Ivan come across as potential foreshadowing to me. Perhaps this was meant to be symbolic, as a contrast to his sole survival as a kid to the alien stage where he willingly loses. Or maybe these experiments hint at something greater, perhaps providing a possible avenue for explanation for Ivan's survival in the future. Or maybe this is all just my wishful thinking on my part, but it's something that comforts me at least. Meaning, uh, TLDR, this person's coping at the fact that Ivan died. <laughs> uh, anyway. I could write a whole essay about how beautiful and morbid Till Wynn being reflected on Ivan's blood. You're right. It's it, it was literally right around here. That's a great touch, by the way. That is freaking amazing. But, okay, this is from Angel with that many dots. Ellipses. <laughs> okay, but... How the okay, but how the second kiss feels much more genuine. Genuine, like after he checks the scores, he gives him a short, gentle one that feels both like a reassurance and a goodbye. Since Ivan tends to always look out for him in the past, I guess that's how his genuine emotion shows up more. And that's when Till looks calm, really sees him, and fully embraces him in the situation. Okay. Good point. Good point. I'll I'll like it just in case. Lyric analyzation, not Eric. Lyrics, lyrics analysis. Oh my god, I can't. I can't speak today. Something that I realize how Till says, "Let me drown in you" at the fifty-one second mark to Meezy because he loves and adores Meezy, but she isn't interested in him, which makes him crave that love from her even more. What's with these people? What the hell? <laughs> he wants to drown in her love, but he can't because her love wasn't meant for him. It was meant for Sua. A.K.A. the girl that died on round one. Ivan, on the other hand, says, I'll drown in you. Two, two minutes and twenty, indicating that he can and will drown in his love for Till. Drowning in this case, that he'll lose himself the deeper, her, the deeper he goes. So this means he'll willingly love Till, even if it means he will lose himself in the process. <gasps> good point, good point. Oh my god. I mean, we were watching the rounds and realized something in round five when Mizi starts beating the shit out of Luca. The guards come and pull her off, pull her off of him, wrangle her away, and only after all that, just start to point a gun at her head. Because of all that, the resistance had time had time to come in and save her. So when Ivan started doing the same thing, they began shooting him down immediately. Because if they didn't, it would give the resistance time to come in and save him. But they don't want that to happen again. That's why none of the guards approach. They would rather kill him quickly than give opportunity for saving. Oh my god, that's crazy. That actually explains a lot. Kind of, but not really. But it's Im it was implied. It was like off-camera moment. A lot of people are in shambles. I am in shambles. My god. <laughs> this one? Okay, we'll read this one and then this one and then that's an that's that's enough of the uh the reaction. 
Everyone in this concept knows they're going to die anyway, or continue living in misery, so Ivan dying for Till was one of the better options for him, all things considered. I think Ivan has always known he would have to sacrifice his life for Till eventually, especially after the scenes from Black Sorrow, which is the one at round 3. So when the time came, he had no hesitation at all. Ivan really didn't expect to get anything more from Till than his gaze. Even though Ivan kissed Till, Till didn't give him the kiss back. But Ivan was willing to give him everything. I've rewatched this so many times since it came out, not even intentionally, but this whole thing has been stuck in my head. I keep getting flashbacks of the tragedy, and now every rewatch reveals more details. I am not okay! Thank you, Crawfrey, Cro Crawfrey Break GG. Nice name, by the way. Okay, and then this, this comment. What's so heartbreaking about Ivan strangling Till to save him is the symbol of Ivan taking off Till's collar that has been shown up so many times throughout the series. In their backstory, we see Ivan taking off Till's restraints on multiple occasions, especially the collar over his mouth, which is that alien muzzle looking thing, whatever it's called. I guess you can call it a collar. It doesn't, eh. Anyway, he does it back in Ancot Garden. That, that's a, that was a name? There was a canon name of the place? Okay. When they make their escape attempt. But he's shown doing it in the flashback in this episode as well. Hmm. While the aliens want to stifle Till's chaotic and rebellious nature, Ivan loves that part about Till. And he wants to free him from his bindings no matter how loud and violent he can sometimes be. Which is crazy because... Uh... Which is crazy because that is the- what Till was singing was not part of his style. That is not part of his musical style, but teach their own. Um... What else? Da, 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 da. Where where is it? where was he? Oh, but when me when uh Mizi disappeared, Till lost his rebellious spirit. As he sings during this round, he looks defeated, hopeless, with no fight left to give. Ivan can't stand for that. He has to help Till get his spirit back, no matter the cost. But Ivan's final act being strangling Till. What he's really doing is taking off his collar. He reaches for Till's neck for the hundredth time, for the last time, intent as always to be, as always, to free Till from the aliens. And when his hands fall away, Till is free, free from the fate that awaited him. And maybe, just maybe, with Ivan's death, Till can regain his rebellious spirit again. That is a nice take. That is actually a really nice take. Different from what I perceive, uh, from my perspective, that was a very nice take. Okay, uh, I, I cannot see any more theories, thus, um, that is enough for me. <laughs> that is enough of this one. I now have to cope, <laughs> basically. I will just have to cope. I will cope with the fact that Till lives another day to my delight. 